Hey you guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel, make sure you thumbs up this video, and make sure you check out SavvyNaturalisa.com for all your skincare needs. Also, make sure you're following me on all my social media sites, uh, TikTok, because that's where it's going down on the TikTok. Anyways, you guys, in today's episode of the Battle of the Dupes, we will be comparing Freeman's Healing Beautiful Mask. Yes, I have a Freeman mask for you with the Body Shops Himalayan Charcoal Purifying Glow Mask. So apparently these two are a dupe for each other. Looking at the ingredient list, uh, the cleanest one to me personally in my opinion i thought the cleaner of the two would have to be freeman's uh detoxifying charcoal black sugar mask i thought this was much cleaner however this one right here will run you 21 dollars. you can find it the cheapest i've seen it for is 12 dollars, but most of the time it is 21 dollars. and this one will run you a whopping six dollars now i bought it for six dollars at ulta when i was going to ulta however i may start going back now they got free shipping for 35 dollars however it will run you three dollars at walmart the most i've seen it is four dollars and twelve cent at my local walmart some of y'all be in the comment section said oh i got it for two dollars i'm like two dollars where but anyways, we're going to see which one is the best of both masks. Now, we are going to swatch because, of course, I'm what? I am what? I am what? The queen of skincare swatches. So, let's go ahead and swatch both products. Okay, hey, you guys. So, we're going to go ahead and swatch the Body Shop. Side note, I do want to make this disclaimer. The Body Shop one this is what it looks like it's actually $28 so it's not 21 it's 28 it was on sale for $21 when I got it oh I got a deal so it's $28 officially but I got it on sale for 21 so I just want to make that clear it is $28 so some of y'all get in the comments and be like girl Girl, it wasn't 21. You lied to me. Okay, you guys. So now that we've swatched uh, the body shop, let's go ahead and swatch Freeman. So they are different colors. I don't know if you guys can see it once the camera decides it wants to focus. Right now, as you can see, they're different colors. Can you guys see that? And this is Freeman's Black Sugar. These are two different colors. I don't know what y'all be saying. It's a dupe. I've seen this dupe on Pinterest. So I'm like, is this really a dupe? I mean really this don't look like a dupe to me you guys but anyways let's just put it on our face okay smelling wise they smell exactly the same <laughs> i kid you not they smell the same it is so weird i will say application i do prefer uh the body shop I mean, application-wise, I'm already telling you, I'm probably going to prefer Freeman. As many times as we've tried the Freeman Black Sugar Mask, I personally prefer Freeman, but that's just my opinion. I will say the experience is tingling for sensitive skin people that may be burning. Okay, so I'm just like, who knows? Y'all have made it possible for Jeffree Star to move out of his home into a new home in California. Where y'all think this will go be next to Kylie? Because now with the Shay Dawson collection and how crazy the numbers are, he's moving into a whole new home. He may be able to afford to move next to Kylie. And he knew. He could officially know all of tea about Kylie once he get there with them in that gated community. Where y'all think he moving next? I cannot believe it's so old. $21 million. It literally sold out. And he's able to move into a bigger and better home. Now, we know that would not have been possible without the Shane Dawson collection. It probably would have, but it would have took a little longer than anticipated. So, he's actually able to do it in a quicker time. Come through, Jeff Jeffrey. So, let's talk about the moral of the story and what this really shows us 
as people. It shows us and it shows that you have to take chances in life. Who would have knew, known Shane would sell out a million pallets and millions of merch and they actually did a soft a, a soft experiment with the merch that him and Jeffrey did and it sold out quickly so they put their bets on Shane. He actually took a gamble and won with Shane. That's the moral of the story. Y'all may hate him. Y'all may dislike him. The moral of the story is you got to take a risk. And he took a risk because Shay had merch at Amazon and it wasn't selling out like hotcakes. I think that's what people forget to realize. Shay had merch at Amazon and it wasn't selling like that. He didn't understand. Shane was literally not making money on merch at Amazon. He wasn't making money on his conspiracy merch. But look at this whole gamble. I think they're ushering in a new era for influencers like on that level like the big level like the Jackie Inas, the Mannies, the Laura Lees, the Jeffree Stars and them. They're ushering in a new era when they can uh, do their own lines. They can use YouTube to market their lines and they and Tati as well and they have to be transparent with us like we knew how many palettes they had as well as Tati we knew how many palettes she had. They're becoming more transparent and if you've noticed even the Kardashians are following that step. If you follow them on Twitter you notice now now they're uh, retweeting people, purchasing their stuff. They're doing more YouTube videos. Kylie ain't never did this many YouTube videos. I see it every time I get on YouTube. I see a Kylie Jenner YouTube video every every other week or so now. Now, so as we're seeing, the uh, Shane and Jeffrey are ushering in a new era. And look at him buying a new home. I can't wait to see the new home. I just want to know where it is. <laughs> Not the exact address, but I just want to know what city is it going to be in Calabasas? Is it going to be in Hidden Hills? We know, let's just say, we know he not moving to Encino. This is, for y'all who don't know, this is in LA. This is LA County. Like when people say they live in LA, most of the time they live in the valley. They don't live in like where I used to live, South Central LA, the hood. They live in like... You know, the valley. <laughs> I'm just saying. So anyways, it's like me. I live in the valley now. I live in a valley now. But I live in the Phoenix Valley. But I would say, oh, I live in Chandler. But even though I live in Phoenix Valley, people be like, oh, you live in the valley. You don't live in Phoenix. Even though people say. Anyways, the point is, I wonder where he moving. Is he moving to Hidden Hills? Ventura, where you moving, Jeffrey? I just want to know what city so we could, you we could accumulate the millions, y'all. You know, some of us be nosy. We be like, <laughs> oh my god, it's just funny to see. So the moral of the story, you know, because we gotta have a positive about why it may be. Y'all may not like him, but let's just do the positivity of the situation. Take a risk, take a gamble, you guys. It may be a lot of money. You may not be wanting to spend it, but you are going to spend it on food or you're going to spend it on something anyway. So take a risk, 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 take a risk, invest in yourself. And look it, he took a risk on Shane. He bought a million pallets. He didn't know if they were going to sell or not. They didn't know. Shay has never sold this much in his life. He took this risk and it paid off. Okay, you guys, so here is my face, and this is what the mask looks like. This is the Body Shop $28, and this is the $4 mask. Okay, you guys, so the masks are officially dry on my face. I am going to do a close-up so you guys can see. Now, this one hasn't dried, but it's been about 30 minutes, and I don't want to keep it on too long, so this is what the Freeman one looks like. It has not dried down all the way, and this one is just coming off oh my god it feels like my skin was feeling when i was feeling those oh my god so you know what you guys i am going to go ahead and rinse my face if i sound a little nasally it's because i am i am under the weather so i will be mentioning that this whole entire time i am under the weather okay you guys so both masks are officially officially off my face and I am going to go ahead and do a close-up so this is where the body shop mask was and here is where the Freeman mask was let me do a close-up I don't know you guys I'm gonna have to dry my face and we'll be back to talk about it 
Okay, you guys, so is it a dupe? I am actually going to say yes, and the Freeman one is much better in my opinion. Like, I don't have as much texture. Like, if you look on this side of my face, this is the body shop at the texture. But if you look on this side of my face, it is very, very smooth. My pores actually look a little bit larger on the body shop side of my face. And the Freeman side is just glowing. Just all so succulent. And that's amazing at the difference you get in a $28 mask versus a, a $6 or $4, $6 mask. It's amazing at the difference. I will say there is a little bit of irritation on both sides of my face with the Body Shops mask having a little bit more irritation than the Freeman side of my face. But I mean, you guys could look and tell the difference, can't you? At which one looks much better. So you know, if I was having to debate which one I should buy, I really would go ahead and get the Freeman one in my in my mind I'm saying body shop but I'm actually saying Freeman but I would honestly go ahead and get the Freeman one I don't know why body shop is in my head like I don't get it maybe because I really wanted an advent calendar and I couldn't get it because it sold out and the one I did want it I didn't want to spend $110 on an advent calendar I just did not I did not and the $70 one didn't have any skincare items in it so I am so upset but that is here nor there uh yeah so honestly i will say this even though my face does look way better on the freeman side and i will buy it i do want to say this the body shop one is way more hydrating so if you do have dry skin and you're not looking to dry your skin out at all you may want to go ahead and get the body shop one because it's just way more hydrating like filling my face my face feels firm and toned on the freeman side but on the body shop side of my face it feels soft supple and hydrated so if you're looking for a hydrated bounciness the body shop mask is the way you want to go however if you're just looking for a cheap mask you're looking to get better results where your pores look smaller more refined for refined and less inflammation on your skin I will say this they both do give inflammation but if you are looking for less inflammation then you would get a, a, a less inflammation I will say the lesser of two uh, the lesser of the two evils I want to say but I don't want to call a body shop mask evil however the lesser of the two evils would have to be the Freeman mask when it comes to the redness of your skin or inflammation I it does give you a little bit of redness but not as much as the body shop one would however your skin will feel nice and supple and soft on the body shop side with that being said those are all the minor details that i have for you for the mask i want to thank you guys so much for watching this video make sure you subscribe to the channel make sure you thumbs up this video make sure you check out what sevennaturalista.com for all your skincare needs i love you guys so much and i'll see you in our next video bye guys Mwah.